This is a, a washer pan, uh, just for the washer only. They have the washer dryer pan, but this is just the washer. Uh, the builder specified that he just wants washer pans, so we're going to install this washer pan right here. First of all, we need to cut this pipe off and get this undercut saw. Then we need to uh, cut that pipe so it's below the the uh, thickness of the subfloor. but stay about a quarter inch away from the hole towards the inside and I'll show you the reasoning for that. Once you've cut that, then we need to take a router and make kind of a ledge, something for the drain, this lip of the drain to rest on. And I'll show you. To get the thickness of how, how deep to go, I usually go the, a little bit thicker than that on the strainer piece. Because these both are about the same thickness. This one's just a hair bigger. So, want to route around this hole. Just to where that drain will rest on it. You want to bevel this pipe just so the drain will slide on easier. Then you'll want to dry fit it. Once you've beveled that, then you'll want to put the drain piece on uh, just as a dry fit because you'll actually be gluing it to the floor. So you just kind of pull that pipe up just to where it's positioned. And then you'll want to stick your floor on to where where you want your washer to sit and usually we go 30 inches from the, dry, from the dryer side just to give enough room for the dryer to sit you want to make some marks on your floor get the mark in the center there's this uh, it's kind of a bolt that's been laid a little bit to have a point on it I don't know if you can see that you just put that in the center hole here you position your washer pan where your marks are and then put a little pressure on it And then you should have a little mark from that nail head right there. And you get a, a three and a half inch hole saw. 
There's a lot of frayed edges up here, so just scrape them off because this is the side you're going to be gluing the drain to. Just make sure it's all clean. And then on this other side, there's going to be some frayed edges as well. To get it a little bit cleaner, use something like this to just go around the edge. And it cleans it right up. You'll take your strainer, just make sure that the hole's big enough and it fits just fine. Now we'll pull it together. You want to pull your drain off. And always glue to the back side of your washer pan. You want to take a PVC cement. To glue it down with because this is all PVC so you go around the edge of it both the washer pan and also just this outer edge of the drain and you'll want to twist it to make sure there's the glue is smeared and I always like to double check, make sure that it's positioned just right with the strainer piece. Then you'll just want to wait about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes for the glue to dry. To glue it down, I usually use, like to use the extra bond 9500. It gives a good bond to both the, the PVC and also the subfloor. The drain should be dry now. Just want to make sure the floor area and the back side of this pan is cleaned off. Free from dust and debris. I don't know if you noticed there's a front, this front is a little bit lower than the rest of the pan. That's just so you'll know that this is the front side. recessed part of the subfloor so it rests on that and glues that good too. Once you have that then you get your glue because the glue sets up pretty fast you want to make sure everything's ready to go down before you get to this point. Then you want to just go around both the drain and the pipe too. And you just pull it up. This is a, a great tool to have because you stick it in the pipe and you can get a grip and you can pull it up to uh, ensure that the drain gets on the pipe good. And you just want to check your marks again, put some pressure on it, make sure the glue, wiggle it around a little bit, make sure the glue's got a good bond to it. This is the extra bond 50 used to, uh, it's paintable so I like to always use it against the drywall side so in case people want to paint. And I just make sure it's all caulked in nice. And then that's your washer pan.